Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. The Chief Economic Advisor to the Global Insurance and Investment Group Alliance has said that Rachel Reeves needs to stop talking down Britain and show the world it's open for business. She needs to abandon any ideas to raise taxes. She needs to make Britain a country of growth a country of potential and not frighten people away, which is what she's doing with everything she does. Millionaires are leaving at the rate of 10,000 a week simply because they're scared. It's, you know, it, it's not a place to do business anymore. People think, why go to Britain when you're going to get taxed to smithereens? This comes as news, of course, that the GDP for Britain has just hit 100%. It means that everything we earn goes to pay off debts. Debts that are going to continue to increase because we've got a government that is incapable of running and growing an economy. You can grow an economy to get a country rich. You cannot tax an economy to get it rich. Um, you know, you cannot tax your way out of poverty. This is something socialists never learn because socialists don't understand economies, taxation, money, fiscal supply, nothing. Because they're always a bit thick when it comes to economies, because they're all left wing. They all think magic money trees. You know, they think we can tax everybody until we've got everything. And then once we've got everything, we can continue to tax because socialism. And that's why socialism fails so spectacularly. And yet there we are. She's uh, she's now sitting with a national debt of two point two seven trillion. No way of dealing with it. No way of understanding how to grow the economy to clear it uh, and intends to just tax her way through. It's already been proved we don't have a 2.2 or 22 billion pounds black hole in the economy. That's a load of rubbish. Uh, the, uh, the economy is doing fine in terms of money supply. That isn't ever the issue. So all those lies about increasing taxes for that, seen for that. And that, of course, will only increase the national debt. It is a joke by these people, but they need to look virtuous. They need to look as though they're doing something different when really the very, very best thing that they and indeed most politicians can do is to sod off and do nothing. Stop wasting money. Stop inventing things to do. Just leave capitalism alone. Stop micromanaging. Stop interfering. As I say, we did the story, they're trying to put political officers into football clubs now because they've got to manage every aspect of our lives. And that makes everything just so much worse. But now you're getting captains of industry saying, for heaven's sake, please, God, stop what you're doing. They're only eight weeks out. Sorry, they're only 80 days in. And that's how bad it is. What is this country going to be like in five years time? Is this country even going to exist in five years time? Well, yes, it will. But will they or will they have been Ceausescu'd and be dangling? That's the questions we need to be asked, because the way it's going, I feel a revolution in this country is definitely likely to happen. Thanks a lot. Bye.